many times. The specification of the entire RTX 40 series were changed, changed, and yet changed. But now will change nothing more. Nah, I'm joking. This time, boots of RTX 4080 have been modified. First of all, remember to subscribe to the channel, activate the notification bell to stay up to date on upcoming videos, and if you want to take a look at our Twitter and Instagram profiles. The upcoming RTX 40 desktop GPU series will be composed by 4 SKU, the RTX 4090, 4080, 4070 and 4060. The changes of specification there have been so many, but really I lost the count. And now, for the tenth time, the specification of RTX 4080 have been updated. Until now, the RTX 3080 specification should last the AD100 free 300 GPU with 76 streaming multiprocessor, 9728 CUDA core, 16GB of GDDR6X memory operating at 21GB per second, 256 of memory bus, and 672GB to second of memory bandwidth with a TDP of 421. Was. The new specification reported the same number of CUDA as well as the streaming multiprocessors, remain unchanged the quantity and the type of memory, while the memory speed has been improved, going from 21 to 23 GB per second. This increased the memory bandwidth of 9%, reaching 732 GB per second. In addition, regarding the consumption, the TDP has been reduced substantially for a total of 80 watts, going down up to the 340 watts. So, recapping, we have got the flagship RTX 1490 that should last the full HD 102 300 GPU with 128 streaming multiprocessors, 16384 CUDA core, 24 GB of GDDR6X memory operating at 21 GB per second, 384 bit of memory bus and 1 TB to second of memory bandwidth and a TDP of 450 watts. The RTX 3080 should feature the 8100 free 300 with 76 streaming multiprocessor, 9728 CUDA core, 24 GB of GDDR6X memory operating at 23 GB per second, 256 bit of memory bus, and 732 GB to second of memory bandwidth with a TDP of 340 watts. The RTX 4070 should have the AD104 275 with 60 streaming multiprocessor, 7680 CUDA core, 12 GB of GDDR6X memory operating at 21 GB per second, 160 bit of memory bus and a 432 GB to second of memory bandwidth, all with a TDP of 300 watts. Finally, the RTX 4060 should last the full AD104 310 GPU with 36 streaming multiprocessors, 4608 CUDA core, 8GB of GDDR6 memory operating at 18GB per second, 128 bit of memory bus and 432GB to second of memory bandwidth, and a TDP of more 220 watts. Wishing that the specification doesn't change anymore, I don't know about you, but I have strong doubt about this. In conclusion, we remember you the release date of the various SKUs. The RTX 4090, 4080 and 4070 GPUs will be launched on the Q4 2022. More precisely, the release period of the VI range RTX 4090 is set for October 2022. Follow the RTX 4080 on November and the RTX 4070 on December. And lastly, the RTX 4060 on Q1 2023 on January. Well, that's all for today. Waiting new updates? As always, let me know what do you think in the comments below. If you find this video helpful, then leave a like, share it with your friend, and don't forget to subscribe. Huge thanks for watching, see you again next time.